Hi guys, this is Matthias, and this video is from CTE. The first time for me to have a look at the new DLC. This one is called Apocalypse, and I think the weapon that most people are interested in is the new AA rocket. Now, I didn't have much time to test this weapon out, but as you can see, I did 38 damage to that attack plane only with the AA rocket, I might add, and a little bit extra damage with the Ryber rolls. Now, I guess you can imagine adding a few LMGs to that, and a plane is not gonna last that long on maps such as Lipkov Pass, for example, or Albion. Now, as some of you guys probably noticed there, you're not gonna get any kills shooting at extreme ranges with this AA rocket gun, because the rocket will explode by itself if it travels far enough. Now, the idea with the AA rocket gun is basically the same as with all flak, such as the QF-1 AA. It explodes on proximity, if it's just close enough to an aircraft, and will deal uh, probably somewhere between 30 and 40 damage. Move. As I'm sure you understand, it is the Assault class that gets the new AA rocket gun. It's basically just the AT rocket gun with a different ammunition. Okay. Here's a first look for me with the new SMG for the Assault class. And I have to say, I did not like this weapon at all, at least not initially. Maybe I'll change my mind later on, but... At first, I really don't see why you would replace, uh, well, basically any of the assault weapons that you already have with uh, this one. But again, I'll uh, test it a little bit more before I make up my mind about it. Now, while being here on CT, I actually tried all the four classes. So if you watch the whole video, you'll see even a little bit of sniping here. And of course, I'm using the new weapon or one of the new weapons. I'm not even sure if it was only one new sniper rifle. Because the fact is, I haven't even tested anything new for the Scout class that we got with the Turning Tides DLC. So I'm kind of confusing a few of the weapons for the Scout class. Now, testing new weapons for Orn City became a lot more interesting in my opinion when I started playing the Support class and the Medic class. You'll see quite a bit of that during this gameplay. And you'll also see what I think is uh, maps that have a lot more work to be done on before they are fully released. There's especially one Conquest Assault map that really didn't seem finished and that had a really really bad uh, way of starting off the game. You will see how people are who are on, should I say, the attacking team, if you can say so about Conquest Assault, they're actually leaving because they can't push through the first to the first objective. Obviously it will be very different when we have textures on the maps, but I still think we get a quite a bit of an indication of how the, this game is going to play out, unless there are some significant changes made by DICE before the DLC is released. Now this was quite confusing, I have to say. The iron sight of this new medic weapon. What? what wait, wh where is the aim? Wait a minute, where's the, where does the bullet go? Is it on the... Is it that left left side M? We have taken objective Edward. Where, where do I aim with this? I don't, I don't know where I'm aiming. I'll deal with those wounds if you like. Wait, no, no, no. The iron sight... Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's the I I know at least now I know where the iron site is. That's, like, out of all the bad irons that you have in this game, this is the worst, I think. I, or I just have to get used to it. This is, but it's so fat also.
So yeah, I did eventually somewhat get used to this weird iron sight and I did a little bit better after playing with it for a few minutes. But uh, I think this weapon is better with the Marksman ver variant. And uh, I played with that for quite a while. Now, I don't really see why this would be better than, like, I don't know, a uh, Mondragon or Farquhar or Selbstladder. I'm sure there are tiny differences that you will see if you compare the stats. But uh, it's not really like it adds something new to the game. I think what this weapon adds is basically more of the same. The Marksman version and the... And the other version is very different. The scope makes such a big difference. No. Yeah, here is that map that I was talking about, and look at how open it is for the attacking side. Now, what needs to be mentioned, of course, is that the attacking side do get to land ships, so they can use that to push, but it's still, I don't know, even though it might balance the whole thing out, that doesn't make the game more interesting, at least not to me. I'm, I'm only talking about my own personal opinion here, and looking at the chat and looking at people's reactions, this was not very popular. This is not a very popular idea, even though the rest of the map, in my opinion, seemed a lot better than this very area where the first fights are going to take place. Anyway, I'm going to let the video continue here. You'll see some more CTE gameplay, more from these untextured apocalypse maps. So I hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Für dich, Kamerad. Erste Hilfe. Braucht jemand Erste Hilfe? Oh, what? Is it... Erste Hilfe, greif zu! Is it that we... have no... Da bekommst du auf die Beine. We don't get a any tanks or Ah What? What? The bullets don't go through there. There's another battlefield thing. The bullets just shoot... Uh... The bullets just hit the wall in front even though I'm deployed. Okay, this is a... Uh... This doesn't seem like the most interesting map. Uh, I don't really know what to say about this map, to be honest. It's not... well, <laughs> people are already making fun of it.
Oh, reload time might be a little bit of a problem with this one. This weapon is pretty good. Maybe I should try the new sniper also now that I'm now, now that I'm at it. Enfield infantry. Okay. It's so confusing to play scout just because I need to show you uh, a new weapon, but yeah. Someone is shooting me from behind. No. 